So this is my method of making a collapsible frame for a soap bubble cube. If you work with soap bubbles, you'll know that it's possible to dip a frame into a tank of soap bubble liquid and draw it out, and you'll have all the films ready to make the cube. But you usually have to take a great deal of liquid around with you. So this is a way of collapsing the frame down, which I'm going to show you first, and then I'll show you how it's made so you can get it into quite a small amount of liquid. Uh, play around with it and you'll find the way it works best for you, but I find I can make a, a twist in the frame and uh, with a little bit of practice you'll know which way to do it and then putting it into a container this size for instance you can put it right down to the bottom and you only need maybe a small amount of liquid, what would you say, a third full or a quarter full of liquid so it's just a small amount. Drawing it out you then should have all the films there. This is a tricky bit. You have to open it carefully in the same way as you closed it up. You have to remember that. And then the one disadvantage probably is that you don't have it absolutely at right angles. But again, with a bit of practice, you get to hold one corner while you have to do the other stuff. So that's my collapsible frame. Obviously, it could be sized up. That's the normal drinking straw size. Um, but making a bigger one, a slightly bigger container, you could make almost any size you would want. Okay, so let's go ahead and have a look and see how it's going to work. You can also, you see, make uh, different patterns, the wheel, or um, I think there's another one which would be like pyramids, or there's a lot more to find. I haven't uh, discovered them all. I think there's also a mirror in there, and even a soap bubble ring with a bit of flexibility, so you could actually move the flexible bubbles around and show some of the minimal surface stuff if you wanted to. Right. Let's have a look at how it's done. First thing you're going to need is um, some bendy straws. That's the straws with that bit in the top, maybe third or no top quarter, which has got the extra bit on it. And put one next to another one so they point in different directions. Now you're going to have to secure these together somehow. If you can't find small elastic bands are fine, but I use a modeling balloon and I cut little bits into it. This one here is a, a normal one, maybe a 160. And just by cutting it to pieces, you'll soon get the, the number you'll need to get at least 24 out of this. You need 24 pieces for a cube and 24 of the straws for a cube. So they're all doubled. Looking at the one in the background, you can see it's basically squares, six squares of uh, bendy straws put together held together by um, this modeling balloon um, and you can put different colors obviously or use different techniques or even different materials if you're making a bigger one. So slide one of these little loops of um, cut up modeling balloon onto a straw making sure that the bendy bits go in the other direction you put on the other one and uh, in just a little bit I'll probably speed it all up. Yeah here we go because you don't want to watch me fiddle around with this too long. Uh, put one on the idea will be to try and get one of the um, bits of, of linkage of the balloon to one end of the straws and one to the other end. And then finally build up the straw. I work a lot by trial and error, but you'll soon know what you're doing, which one's going into which, so that you can end up with double straws on a cube. 24 straws, 24 links, and uh, push them right in. If you start with the the bendy end, the short bendy end, and narrow it down, it'll squeeze nicely into the other end, the wider end of the straw that it's going into, and that should hold quite well. I find it's pretty robust, this thing. So there you are, your bendy straw. And it'll turn and squash down into a flat loop like so. There we are. So you need to be able to work a little bit with it before you get your hands wet or do nothing more with it. But that's the basic frame. And I'm sure it could be done for other shapes as well, some kind of thing. I haven't worked them out yet, but they, that's another thing lying ahead. So here's me beginning to show how to do it, dipping into a small amount of liquid. You see how I'm holding it and then doing the twist that I've developed and popping it down. And now you lift it out very carefully. This is a tricky bit. You can find that it bursts a little bit too often here, but I think maybe eight times out of ten I can do it straight away gently opening at this point and you'll see now you're going to get the formation that you would get if you dipped it into a great big tank of liquid. Here's the, the bubble films all lying in the right place. As I said earlier you're not getting quite the cube shape, it's slightly shaky 
but when you've got the, the actual fog, what I'm using here is a, a fog machine. You'll, if you don't know about them, you'll find details on Soap Bubble Wikipedia. Look up fog machines or smoke machines, and they'll tell you about how to make them. Anyhow, that's putting the cube inside. Now making sure the straw you're putting in is wet, of course. And then you can just show the cube in different shapes. I would love to be able to um, do more with it, like maybe squash the cube and catch it in the middle of all the straws. You'll see me try in just a minute. Uh, I think that's going to be hard. This is expecting a lot to be able to do this. Can I do it? No, squash it. No, it doesn't quite work. It comes out at one end. Yeah, there you go. No. There, it went one way. And then do what you like with the wheel. You can burst the, burst the fog ring or... Maybe it would roll around if you could get it up on the surface. No, probably hard. So that's it. That's the collapsible frame for the soap bubble cube.